It's an absolutely beautiful spring day in Stockholm and today we are on our way down to Algrin, that is a French restaurant run by Daniel Cui. Daniel has quite the resume and he has been opening a lot of different restaurants throughout his career. He's been competing a lot also and he has had a lot of TV appearances like in Masterchef for Kids. Algrin has been open since 2018 and is a tribute from Daniel to his grandmother which name the restaurant is after. So please sit back and enjoy while we together will review this restaurant and see if it's really worth a visit. Looking at the menu here is a stand up a la carte setup and it's starting with some snacks moving into your starters and then your main courses and finishing off with uh, desserts. So I will probably go today with a few different snacks. I'll choose a starter, perhaps the tatar, and then I will go with a main course that would probably be the quail, and then let's see if we have room for dessert. Jumping straight into the snacks here, and I started with a small tartlet with the bleak roe, Jerusalem artichoke, and some fermented jalapeno. It was quite a heavy bite there and it was a generous amount of the bleak row and the flavors were quite subtle. I didn't really get the sense that much of the Jerusalem artichoke, but overall it was a good snack to start with. I couldn't hold myself to just one snack so I ordered another one and this was the Blue Mussels Escabeche. It was together with a sauce piquant that I found some cumin in and then it was a toasted sourdough bread on the side here. So digging into this course and I mean dipping your bread in the sauce and getting a little bit of a muscle and eating, it was a fun snack to have and it was a generous amount of it, it was almost actually more like a starter than a small snack. So I enjoyed this a lot, it was a fresh beginning of a fantastic meal. After the two snacks here we're moving into the starter and here I went with the steak tatar and it was served with some very thinly sliced duck liver. It was a truffle brioche in the bottom and it was also some Sauterne jelly and Sauterne is a French dessert wine that is very much often combinated together with uh, foie gras. Digging into the flavor profiles here and starting with the foie gras itself, I mean, I'm suspecting that they thinly sliced that from frozen, just judging by the look at it, and I didn't really get that much flavor from the foie itself, but it gave a good contrast. The steak tartar itself, I mean the meat were in small cubes and was nice to eat, it was nicely seasoned. Truffle brioche there in the bottom and we also had the sauterne jelly that was spotted around a little bit. It was a well balanced dish and I enjoyed to eat it, but I have to say it was a little bit small for being a starter. It was almost the same size there as the blue mussels that came in, so I'm thinking that maybe the price here is a little bit too high for what you actually got on the plate. For the main course I went with the quail and here you got actually a full piece of the quail here. Only deboned out was the actual breast bone and it was a beautiful presentation with a very nice caramelization there on the quail itself. It was accompanied with a chestnut puree, we had some endives and we had also some different cabbages, we had orange and it was a sauce that was made from calvados. It was really colorful and light to look at and I was really looking forward to taste all the flavor profiles in here. This was the winner of all the dishes that we had tonight. The quail itself was really beautifully cooked, it was so succulent and nicely seasoned. Chestnut puree in the bottom there, not taking over anything but giving that complexity and nuttiness that the chestnuts have. And then we have the endives, a little bit of bitterness, and we have the fruitiness from the oranges and the different the bits of pieces of kale, and then there's that the sauce that just brings everything together. It was a beautiful main course, it was very light, and I also appreciated that they had some chili peppers there on the top, just for giving that extra note of some heat that was also coming through the dish. So, great job on this one, I really enjoyed to eat it. Finishing off the meal and for desserts, I actually went with a little bit of a different dessert tonight and the one I chose was based on the cheese Brilatsa Varan. 
And the Lazza Varan is a white molded cheese that is quite creamy inside. It's really nice to eat. It has a little bit more flavor than a classic brie type of cheese. And I enjoy that a lot. Here it was accompanied with some honey ice cream and some roasted black pepper. And there was also honeycombs and olive oil in this dessert. I really enjoy the different textures of this dessert and just starting when looking from the top here on the different pasty bricks that is building up some air into it and really giving a good texture element to all the creamy parts here that was the Brillatze Varan in form of a mousse and then of course you had the honey ice cream underneath there and then you had those peppery tones coming in from the black pepper. Also, we had quite a lot of honeycomb uh, on here that also gave more texture and additioned that uh, honey flavor quite a lot, which I enjoyed. What I didn't like though about this dessert is that in the bottom of the plate they had put quite a grassy and bitter olive oil. And I'm not sure about the reason for that because I think that you got probably enough bitterness there from the honeycomb and the caramelization when that product was made and it was taking over a little bit too much the olive oil and it disturbed the balance of this dish quite a lot so if that would have not been in this dessert I would have probably liked that a lot more. So what did I think then about my visit here to restaurant Alguin? Well, I think it's been a quite solid restaurant visit and I've enjoyed most dishes here throughout the evening. They have looked good, they have tasted good and then I think that they have been priced at a very fair level here. So the value actually of this restaurant I think is very good for the food that we have been given tonight. What I've been missing a little bit throughout this evening is to see Daniel's bond back to his past and his grandmother Algrin in a more clear way. Looking at the menu here and seeing, I mean, it's a very French modern type of restaurant. I was lacking maybe to see some dishes that was representing his past a little bit more clearly. I'm gonna put the food rating here at 85 points and it's been very good dishes that has come out and they have looked really nice and fresh to eat and my favorite dish of the evening was the quail dish with the chestnut puree and all of those vegetables that was just bringing everything together in a very light way. I'm gonna put the service score here at 83 points and it's been good service but I was maybe lacking a little bit more attention throughout the evening here but it's been good enough at this level. And then to the value scoring here and as I said I think it's been fairly priced dishes so I'm actually gonna put the value here at 87. I think for about a hundred bucks that was spent here and all the dishes that came in I think that that's a really good value actually at this level in a restaurant. And that sums up today's episode and I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this and if you like the content please subscribe and hit that like button and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.